All right, ladies and gentlemen, now I promised you guys I would keep you up to date on the My Forex Funds situation. And uh, just now, over the last couple of hours, the CFTC has finally created a release. This is release number 8771-23. It's titled, The CFTC Charges My Forex Funds with Fraudulently Taking Over $300 Million from Customers Hoping to Become Professional Traders. If you guys come over here to this website, uh, you will also find on the right side under related links, the entire 23 page document that outlines everything. But this does a really good job of outlining some of the information. First and foremost, we heard at the beginning from the original announcement from the website of my Forex funds, as well as the announcement from their owner that September 11 would be a preliminary hearing or injunction and you can see right here september 11 that will happen in trenton new jersey so that is all true so everything that they had mentioned is actually true there's good news in this because at first we were saying where's all the press releases for this is this just some way to cover up and they're running i don't think so second piece of good news here is when you read a lot of this they're really targeting i mean obviously they're 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 targeting some other broader broader things that we talked about in the last video in terms of the regulatory status, but they're really targeting the way they use the funds, meaning they were taking these sign-up fees and funneling them to luxury lifestyles. It actually mentions it right down here. As the complaint noted, the Traders Global, which by the way, that's just the entity for my Forex funds, pitch has been successful. More than 135,000 customers signed up to their trading program since November of 21, paying at least 300 10 million dollars in fees the complaint alleges again this is all alleged guys this is not proven yet that cosme used these proceeds from the, fr the fraud to purchase luxury homes and automobiles and make tens of millions of dollars in transfers to his personal accounts now going back up you guys can see right here the cftc seeks restitution to the frauded defrauded investors um the CFTC's case against my Forex funds defendants is emblematic of our commitment to stamping out retail fraud in our markets, which is really interesting because they're um, they're they're not talking about prop firms being the problem. They're really talking about the way that they approached it being the problem. Of course, we talked about the Ontario document in the last video where they they called it simulated trading environment not being real money. Some of you guys, of course, understood what I mentioned when this is, none of this is real money. When you're saying you've passed your challenge, you're now live, it just says live. Um, and until they can prove that that's live money and they're going for dollar for dollar backing that, it's just a demo account. And on the off chance you do survive, then they'll pay you out. But in order to avoid paying you out, as it mentions in this case, they created different scenarios. In fact, up here, right here, is a, this is where it got interesting. The complaint alleges that Traders Global actively minimizes the likelihood that customers trade profitably by using pretext to terminate customer accounts, misleadingly assessing commissions that reduce customer account equity, and secretly using specialized software to cause customer orders to be executed at worse prices than appeared to the customer at the time that it was sent and handicapping the extremely small number of successful customers to decrease customer profits and increase customer losses, i.e. funneling more money to them. A lot of slippage in here when we use the term in Forex, slippage where you enter. Some of you guys have maybe experienced this with some unregulated brokers. You enter and then your entry price is substantially worse than you thought it was. That's called slippage. You do that thousands and thousands of times as a broker and you can make a lot of money in doing that. Um, again, this is interesting up here too. According to the complaint, the defendants doing business as my Forex funds supposedly offered retail customers the opportunity to become professional traders by using Traders Global money to trade against third party liquidity providers and share in any trading profits. They assured customers that your success is our business and we only make money when you do. But in reality, Traders Global not a third party liquidity provider is the counterparty to substantiate um, to substantiate all customer trades. It's interesting. 
Because what they're saying is there was no liquidity provider. They don't really want you to win. They are against you. Again, this is all alleged. Some people in the comments section are getting all mad. Hey, why you quit? Why you why keep talking about it? Because I can. <laughs> it's public knowledge. And these are the type of things that give Forex a bad rap. I've been in this nine years. And unfortunately, over these nine years, Forex has gotten worse. People think Forex, just the name Forex means something. Meaning it's like a company or something. No, it's the foreign exchange. It's we're trading currency. And if done correctly, it can be a phenomenal opportunity to invest. And if done incorrectly, not so much. But partnering with the wrong companies, then forget about it. So this is interesting. I'm not going to spend the entire day reading this entire document. Feel free to do so. Again, go look this up. Read it if you like. Again, this is all alleged. We'll see what happens. All the documents are now out. So I'm going to be done talking about this on my channel for now. We're going to get back into some super secret settings on my channel with our absolutely free indicator. Remember guys, I don't have any coaching. I don't do any one-on-ones. I don't have a course. I don't charge for the indicator. Uh, this is all for you guys. This is all free. I just want to give you guys the best information possible. And in this case, every once in a while, I guess talk about the industry like this. So if you like these videos, please click that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I appreciate you guys getting me to 20,000 subs. We'll see you on the next video.